Hey everybody, this is that German guy Josh Ronquist and I'm here with Vele from Insomnium who's going to be playing here tonight opening for Epica and Ailstorm and System Divide. That's right. Uh, I heard that uh, Destiny Potato dropped off the bill? Yeah, um, I, I don't know what's the deal with that. But, but they were supposed to be on this tour, but for some reason, I, I don't know if it's because they didn't have album out or something like that, but okay. I'm not sure about what's the deal. Uh, uh, was there a replacement band? I hadn't seen it, hadn't heard anything. Uh, well, that. we had Blackguard, it's a Canadian band, and they were playing something like six shows in the beginning of the tour with us, and, then, but, and they probably would have stayed for the whole tour, but they had all, already another tour in Europe booked, oh, okay. so they did fly over there a few days ago. Ah, cool. So, but, no, no, it's only for for band to do. Ah, nice. Uh, so uh, even though it just started, how has the tour been so far? Well, it, it has been great, better than we expected. So it's, it's really nice to see old fans, the same faces we saw already back back in 2007, and then. Um, I think the crowd response is good. I think the package works really well. So there's a lot of melodic bands, and we fit in really nicely. And I think people who like Epica can like as well, and we can get new fans. So it has been two weeks now, and yeah, three, two more to go, and we're really enjoying this. Oh, very cool. That kind of answers my next question about uh, how has the uh, crowd reception been for you guys? Yeah, yeah, it has been quite, quite awesome. Like quite often, people are screaming one more song when we finish our set so we're kind of able to play now about 30 minutes per night and of course people would like to hear a bit more longer songs and so on but we kind of like need to just keep the back and just try to try to get like a decent decent set with uh, like five to six songs so but yeah um, it has been really 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 great oh very cool uh for the sellers uh, have you been uh, sticking to the latest album or is it uh, trying to go throughout the career yeah i, I think the set is kind of like it biased for the new album it's kind of like natural uh, but then we have some old, older songs but mainly on the on the three latest latest album we've been playing those songs from those albums well it makes sense too since it just came out last year yeah exactly and so it is a fantastic to... album as well well thank you um, and of course the songs are a bit, a bit more fresh for us as well so you kind of like you always enjoy playing your new stuff so oh very much so yeah. uh, so what are the plans after this tour Excuse me? Uh, uh, what are your plans after this tour? Uh, well, um, we're just going to go home, chill out a bit, and then we're going to just uh, start writing new new album. So uh, we're probably going to do a European tour in the spring, and then some selected festival shows in Europe at least, and, and some, some shorter ones if we get opportunities, but mainly just focus on writing a new album, and then going to the studio uh, next fall, next year. Oh, very cool. Uh, have you selected uh, who you're going to be touring with in the spring? Uh, well, we have had a discussion about so but probably it will be Omnium, Catherine and Insomnium and then some other third band which hasn't been secured yet so but we are just uh, it's kind of like uh, we're still building and booking places and it's pretty early to say but definitely we'll be doing some kind of European show tour in the spring so Oh, very cool uh, so for the newest album, have you uh, written any riffs yet for it, or is it just waiting until you get into the studio? Yeah, so basically, I think I have like two to three songs pretty much done, and, and uh, our new guitarist, Marcus Van Hala, um, he has also some stuff for Insomnium in, in store, so uh, I think we have something, but then you need time and just time to focus on it kind of commit fully on that and then not think about touring or so but uh, I believe like the material seems to be quite strong and good songs and catchy melodies so um, uh, I'm sure it will be good albums so oh, very cool and, that, and that's what I love about you guys too you have such great melodies in the metal that you guys create oh cool yeah it's in some ways it's, it's all about melodic we're, <laughs> melody we're very melodic bands so that's our our strength I think yeah oh very much so yeah yeah that's what I love about it uh, so what music have you been listening to lately? Well, uh, I've been listening quite, <laughs> quite a lot of old stuff in here. I've yeah, been listening to Euro Disco. You know, I don't know if you don't even know the uh, music style here in the US, but it's like really, really crappy disco, uh, techno songs and whatever, euthanasia from Megadeth. Um, and then we have been also listening to uh, Omnium Catherine's, which is Marcus's another guitarist, another band, um, new demos for the new album um, and remixes. So, Kind of really varied, and in my bunk, I've been just listening some very laid back uh, ambient 
music or whatever, so just like chill out. You don't want to listen that much metal <laughs> once you're surrounded by metal music all the time every night. So, ah, very true. Yeah, it's good to have different uh, variety in music that way you don't get standard. Yeah, it's, uh, I like to listen a lot of kind of atmos- atmospheric instrumental stuff, both rock, you know, you know, like electronic stuff. So, kind of like you have to balance it out. Between. Oh, very much so. I mean, I'm a big post rock fan myself. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, I, I find a lot, lot of good bands there and kind of good, good sources of inspiration as well. So. Yeah, very cool. Uh, so, is there any bands that you currently have not toured with that you'd like to in the future? Well, I, I guess there's a lot of bands we would like to tour with. This um, endless list of your uh, childhood idols, um, like big, big bands. But uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter that much uh, who we can tour. We've been touring a lot of like. Uh, We've been toured like Dodge and Kill the now with Aelstorm. Um I mean, like we're quite easygoing guys, so we get along. And as long as the bands are alright and nice to us, and there's no too much like nitpicking or yeah, <laughs> uh, or just like people are fair, then we're happy to tour basically practically with anyone. Uh, that's very cool. As long as you can tour with like good people and have a great tour, that's yeah, all yeah. all about. Yeah, because the tour life is quite rough at times, so it, it helps when you have good, good friends and you can just have a beer and just chill out. Yeah, exactly. Before and after. Yeah, a beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. The drink before she owes beer. <laughs> yeah. This is the hangover cure. Yeah, that's right. You, you can't get a hangover if you don't stop drinking. Precisely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so is there anything else that you'd like to say that I haven't brought up yet? Uh, well, if you haven't heard us, um, check out web pages and music videos from YouTube and melodic Scandinavian death metal, lots of very melancholic melodies, but we put on a good show every night, so come and check us out. Oh, very cool. Okay. Uh, once again, thank you for this great interview. No worries. My <laughs> pleasure. This has been Vili from Insomnium. This is that German guy, Josh Runquist. Thank you. Cheers.